Brandon Harker with AuctionFlex here to give you a quick demo of our free websites and custom pages. It should be noted that you can use our custom pages even if you don't use our free websites. However, if you do use our free websites, you're definitely going to want to take advantage of our custom pages. What you're looking at right now is the home page of our sample hybrid site, einstein.hybid.com. And what I want you to notice is that there are currently only five links at the top. So there's home, login new bidder, current auctions, past auctions, and email list. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new menu item and a new page. So over here on this tab, I'm currently logged in as the auctioneer. And what I've done is I've hit the drop down menu and gone down to custom pages. And from here, you can see those five pages that are over here that our bidder sees. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a whole new page. So I'm going to start by clicking on the Add Page. And now I need to give the page a name and a title. I'm just going to call it Test and Test. And let's go ahead and type some stuff out. And of course you can have bulleted lists You can have numbered lists. You can have tables. You can have links to other pages. Etc. So this is a full page editing system, but it keeps it very simple. Another thing we can do is we can obviously want to add images sometimes. So to add an image, I click the image button and click browse server. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my own image. So let's go here and let's upload this barrel. So I'm going to select the barrel and let's set it to 350 pixels wide. And now I have a barrel on the page. Let's go ahead and save the page. And at this point, you'll notice that neither the published or the menu checkboxes are checked. And what that means is this page that we just created still isn't available. So if I come over here and refresh the bidder page, the bidder side of my website, nothing has changed. But as soon as I go ahead and publish that page and put that page in the menu, now when I refresh this, that test page that we just created magically shows up. Pretty cool. So you have a full content publishing system. Sometimes, in addition to creating pages for your site, you want to create a menu item that is simply just a link to another site. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do that by clicking Add Link instead of Add Page. And let's create a link to our videos. So here's our videos channel on YouTube. So I'll just copy that link and paste it in. You can see here it's YouTube and hit save. And now as soon as I publish this link and come back over here, refresh the page. And now not only do we have the test page we created, we also have a videos page, which will take the user to that URL. So obviously with this test page, I gave you guys a very basic example of what can be done. And what I'd like to do now is just give you a a little tour of what our customers have done. So this is a customer that is hosting their website with free hybrid hosting called graberauctions.com. And you'll notice that they've built a fully responsive site within the hybrid system. So if we scroll down, we can see that it's fully responsive. And it should be noted that the test page that we created earlier we automatically make elements like the image responsive. So as the browser gets smaller, in the case of a smartphone, you can see the images automatically resize. So this is Graber Auctions, pretty neat. Great job that they've done. And of course, it's fully in with, integrated with the high bid internet auction system. So they've got their auction calendar. They also have their past auctions and so on. Uh, another customer of ours is GoBidToday.com. So they've published this page. And of course, there's their current auctions, which they upload from AuctionFlex, their past auctions, and so on. 
as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you for watching.